game. This is this this is the thing, man. The, can you guys hear me? First of all, I want you guys to stay all safe. The way we teach at MIC is very different than other people. We are not here to be a gunslinger. We're not here to basically make the most money out of it. Oh, everybody in the world. I've been there, guys. I've done that. And I've done that when I was younger. Uh, you have to understand the, the, the stage you are in, in life. Uh, not only am I teaching people to trade stocks, I truly believe I'm teaching people how to live like, like life coaching, man. I mean, when, when you're older, you can't risk everything. When you're younger, when I was younger, man, I was fucking killing it. I mean, I didn't care, right? I threw caution in the wind because I was young. I was able to make my money back even if I lost because I have time. But now if you have a family support and all that stuff, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Just gunslinging crazy ass stocks like this. You could be up. You could be down. No one knows what the hell you're doing, right? So you have to look at yourself and look at your life. Where are you are in your life. When you're younger, you can take more chances. When you're older, and I see old guys risking their stuff and they wonder why that they're fucking gonna never retire. My goal is I I have a famous saying that you guys all know. You only need to get rich once, guys. You only need to get rich once. When you get fucking rich, lock it up. People fucking talk about how little money I make. <laughs> I'm like, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, fuck, man. <laughs> These guys are, I mean, I, the, the first thing to do is get rid of your ego. You are not competing with anybody else except yourself, guys. You are only competing with the person you were yesterday. I keep telling you this all the time. I don't give a fuck if these guys make billions of dollars and I make $100. That's, that's, I mean, what the fuck? I mean, that's, it is what it is, dude. Right? These guys are so arrogant to think that the best whatever. It's like, it's good for them. I'm, I'm glad they're making money. It's nothing... You know, that's, that's just on them. But everybody has a different different path in life, guys. And so don't despair. I'm telling you right now, do not despair. You know, you're looking at these guys making millions of dollars, but you don't know that they're down millions of dollars, you know? Or the half of their room is blown up. Who the hell knows, right, guys? I just want you guys to learn the process, okay? To be consistently profitable, be a good human being, Help other people. I mean, these are the crazy notions of life that I have that pff, maybe I'm fucking a sucker. But who knows? But, you know, I, I, I truly believe that there are peop good people out there. And there's a lot of them in MIC, man. A lot of these good people in MIC helping other people. And, you know, you, we don't see people screaming, woo, boom, bam, we're the best. I'm fucking bragging. and all that. I mean, dude, that's, that's not... I mean, act like you've been there. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> it's funny. It's like, what, you had never made money before? <laughs> the people that celebrate like that, it's like, what, you never made money? It's like the first time you had sex, right? People can tell you the first time you had sex. <laughs> you're all fucking happy. You're fucking screaming. Why well, fucked their shit over? I'm like, we well, never had sex before. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but anyways, let's talk, let's talk to the markets. Um, there goes AMC. Let me put in a fucking cover so that uh, I don't have to do this shit. I I have a cover at 888. So I've just been shorting the 1050 line on AMC. And I'm going to cover the rest at 888 because I like that number. <laughs> uh, I have a naked, sh I have short on naked and AKD. I'm going to cover that around the 140s. Okay, cool. You see, man, all I do is follow the process that we teach. I've actually never made a single trade on GME until today, and I posted on Twitter. I did not want to be the guy that people follow, and they go broke. GME went from 500 bucks down to $100, and then bounced right back up. If, if you misstepped, you went broke. You went broke, guys. Uh, you know, there are people with lots of money that they're able to fucking make it back, but... But you know what? Most people do not have the opportunity and the money and the, <laughs> the testicular fortitude to hold through millions of dollars of down <laughs> drawdowns, right? But uh, let's get back to basically this, man. Do you guys understand how these moves happen? We talk about this all the time because we trade small caps and we talk about all the time. This is basically a short squeeze, okay? There's many ways to do a short squeeze, but basically the bottom line is a short squeeze happens when a bunch of shorts get fucked. <laughs> Basically, that's what it is. And then they have to cover. But the problem is the float, there's no shares to cover. You know, float is everything. That's what we teach, uh, we teach, right? We teach the process, which includes looking at the float, right? 
So, what they did was this, man. They're fucking genius. I gotta tell you something. The reason they're geniuses is because, like, fuck, man. They force everybody to stay at home. And these are gamer kids. These are kids looking for an edge. You know, some, you know, so they found a fucking edge. They found a way to beat the fucking system. And this is exactly what we do all day long. But they just, they did it through an army of people. But who knew that this would happen, right? So what they did was this. They found the most heavily shorted stocks out there. The most heavily shorted stocks. And they found GME. <laughs> you know, GameStop, right? And they're like, holy fuck, this, this one fund is short a shitload. Like, you know, 40% of the whole float or whatever the hell it may be. What if we just fucking got together and bought... But, but the thing is, it's not like one guy... With like five of his friends and then with a billion dollars ran it up, you know, that would be manipulation kind of deal, right? But even even that happened. That's what hedge funds do. You, what the fuck do you think algos do? They take advantage of the fucking inefficiencies of the market. I mean, look at the low float small caps that pop up every day. Why, why is the SEC FINRA not fucking concerned about those motherfuckers fucking us up every day, right? How much have you lost, guys? Getting short squeeze on a small cap. How much have you lost going long on a small cap and getting dumped because of filing, because of the offering? Things like that, right? Manipulation goes on every fucking day, man. Every day. But the problem is the manipulators are the institutions. That we, I call those guys the, the short, right? The shorts. No cursing. If you're going to... Tell me and criticize me for cursing. Please spell cursing right. You said no coursing. What the fuck is coursing? So if you're going to tell me not to curse, at least spell the word curse right, guys. Lots of love. <laughs> you should change your name. <laughs> but um, I won't course anymore. But um, fuck that. I'll curse whenever I want. <laughs> but um, so what do we got here, guys? Today is not a day to play because I'm, I'm trying to help everybody here, guys. And some guy goes, no coursing. <laughs> I mean, fucking get off the stream, man. Seriously. I mean, I just don't understand. I mean, are you part of the suits? This is what the suits are doing right now. They, they're they making us get into their own little paradigm. And when, when these smart guys and kids at home, they found a loophole. It's not even a fucking loophole. They, they found a way to trade that the institutions have been trading all their lives. They're taking advantage of the low float shit. We've been getting our ass kicked on low floats all the time. This is the first time that the institutions are not in control. And so one of their friends, Melvin Capital, went belly up. And then, but no one's asking, how the hell are they able to short that much? How the hell is the short interest 150% of the float? How the hell can you short more shares than their availability of shares? No one's even asking that fucking question. All they're saying, there's manipulation. The guys on Reddit, the message boards guys are manipulating. That's fucking bullshit. They're not asking the right questions. They know that they fucking scam. The system is fucking rigged, guys. So how do you short something that does not exist? 150%. And the reason is because <laughs> how do they even know you shorted? They don't have to, they don't have to report that as a short sell. If they close their positions by the end of the day, they mark it as a normal sell and a buy. It doesn't matter when. And, and so it, it shows up as a normal fucking trade. There are many ways to game this. And if you are a self-clearing you know, institution, E-Trade, Ameritrade, all those things, you're, you're self-clearing, man. You, you can fucking do anything you want. You can go, oops, I forgot to fucking do this filing. That's why you see a lot of late prints, guys. There is um, there's fucking all these fucking, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, shit. Um, but, but that's why you see a lot of late prints, all this stuff, you know, all these black boxes, all these dark pools. They do what the fuck they want to do. They're called dark pools because you don't know what the hell is going on in, in the dark pool. You know, they get their fuck. That's why they're buying the order. So what happens is this, guys. These fucking firms, they're buying order flow, okay, from Robinhood. And then they are basically front loading it. They're doing whatever they're doing in the dark pools. You don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're manipulating. They're basically, they're, it's a legal way to manipulate, okay? And so, you know manipulation is going on all this time. It's just the fact that this is the very first time that they, <laughs> the tables have been turned, right? And one of their friends went belly up. And so what, what that happened was one of these guys at Citadel and Cohen, they, they loaned him like $2 billion again, and they still lost all their money, right? And so now they're, they're crying. So I posted on Twitter, 
Here, let me let me let me show you. This is crazy stuff, man. I don't know where to begin on this. This is this is just insane. So all their buddies are, you know, look at this, man. They're down 20% this month. Cohen, that's the guy that loaned the money to do the GameStop short. You know, these, they're, they're fun. These are big funds, man. They're losing billions of dollars. And so what, what did they do? So how, they, how was this done? It was done out of, out of the money calls. So it's actually fucking genius, man. This is what they did with Tesla. They should have known. This is how Tesla was driven up. So a lot of guys, like Tesla became a cult stock, right? And so there's thousands and thousands and tens of thousands, hundred thousand buyers of Tesla out of the money calls and stuff like that because everyone believes in that. And so whenever you buy such an out of the money call, the guy that's selling it to, the market maker, needs to hedge, right? So he's buying the real shares of stock. And so it's levered up like 101, right? And so he has to buy some shares of stock. So for every fucking huge money out of the, uh, out of the money call option they're buying they, they're hedging it so they're slowly moving it up and so now you imagine you get an overwhelming um amount of people like a million people on this fucking wall street bets thing whatever the hell they're doing you know they're they're buying this GameStop, and so next thing you know holy shit you know they found a loophole that institutions have been doing forever and they just basically took advantage of that and now they're, they're calling it manipulation, okay? Think, think about that. They, they wrote the game that suits the institutions. They wrote the game, exactly, Delta Hedging and Gamma and all that stuff, right? So I'm not an options expert. You can, you can Google that and someone will explain to you. But basically, they basically do figured out the game. So instead of calling it manipulation, why don't they fix the loopholes? That's because the loopholes help these guys make so much money. Why are these funds shorting so much of these out of the money calls? Because 99% of the time they make money. It's just that 1% that they will go belly up, but only if they do not hedge. So these funds are so arrogant that they're not even doing risk management, right? And oh my God, do you know how much money investors lost? I mean, the people that gave them, but don't be, but don't be so bad for those. The investors that lost the money are their fucking friends. These are the really rich motherfuckers, right? That, 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 that Steve Cohen and all these guys are, are trading for. And so, so that's why these stocks went up. So these stocks went up on the simple concept of short squeeze. They have to buy the shares back. And these guys are so arrogant. It started from $20, 40 bucks, 70 bucks. It will not cover. I mean, dude, what the hell, dude? Why wouldn't you cover? It got to the point where they had to loan billions of dollars and they blew up. And now they're like, oh my God, my God, these guys are manipulating. I'm like, first of all, first of all, bro, you are the ones that are licensed. You are supposed to be the professional with billions of dollars. And you're getting out tricked by a bunch of kids on the internet. I mean, and so you know what they did? They, they, they figured a way, and I'm very surprised that they did this, this quickly. They basically told all their buddies, which is the institution, the brokerage firms, not to accept orders anymore. So you imagine, it's like a kid on the, on the playground. You know, he brings the ball, and he's winning. Every day, he's winning the game, the basketball game. The one day that the little, the little guy wins the game, he goes, fuck this shit. I'm taking the ball back. Fuck you. I'm not going to let you play the ball anymore. I'm going to go. I'm going to take this ball home. And so that's exactly what they did. They took the, so they told Robin Hood, don't accept any orders anymore. So that's why there's a huge class action lawsuit against Robin Hood. So this is how I'll tell you what the relationship with the Robin Hood is. Okay, Citadel is the biggest high trading, high frequency trading firm in the world. What high frequency trading is, is there's no, it's not a strategy. It's basically matching trades and front running orders to match orders to make basically not even a penny, a micro of a penny. But they're doing it in such huge billions of shares that it adds up to huge money. And they never lose, guys. They never hardly ever fucking lose. Because what they do is they buy order flow from Robinhood. So Robinhood could destroy. So this is the good and the bad, okay? I'll tell you what, what Robinhood did, did, did. So remember, trades used to cost commission. Commissions were very expensive for a lot of us. When I started, man, I was paying like $90 a trade. Shit like that. A percentage of trade. It was a huge commission. And then pretty, pretty soon, electronic trading came about and it became really, really cheap. And then Robinhood came out and said, fuck this shit. I'm giving it for free. 
And we all wonder why, how the fuck are they able to operate giving free commissions? Robin, remember? How the hell are they making money? No one knew. Ameritrade was charging $8 a trade. And then when Robinhood came, they bankrupted everybody. That's why Ameritrade Trade had to, Ameritrade, E Trade, Swap, all those companies got rid of commissions because they could not compete anymore. And that, they found out how Robinhood was doing it. Robinhood was selling all of the order flow to the high frequency trading firms like Citadel. Citadel is their biggest client. They're making a shit ton of money. So you imagine getting all the orders from me and you selling that order flow to someone else so that they can fill the order. And then, so the algo on the other side, the sale guys, like looking at all these orders, go, holy fuck, there's a huge buying. I'm gonna buy ahead of them, I'm gonna match them, I'm gonna do all this. Basically, dude, that's straight up cheating, man. That's, that's, that's beyond cheating. No one's saying shit for years about that. And so that's why Robin Hood came and killed the whole industry, okay? So don't blame us, the people, blame Robin Hood. Okay, so Robin Hood made it so that, so basically it's the institutions that have been ripping the people money off, okay? Um, this is, I mean, this, there's a huge market in this, dude, you, you, can, you can read up on the books, Flash Boys is one of this, uh, Flash Boys. It's a rig market, man. Um, but, but the thing is, for, for, it's rigged and not rigged, you know what I'm saying? These are happening at people, people you don't really care if you get filled for a penny or not. Cause most of the traders, like a, your, your mother, your father are trading a thousand shares and a penny difference is not going to affect anything. So basically there's a rule that says you're supposed to fill, the broker's supposed to fill the best, uh, the best offer, the best bid or the best offer, right? And so, but during these dark pools and when they match up, they don't have to, they don't have to fill you with the best order. So they can actually fucking cheat, dude. They, they, they're filling you were, and they're making the money on the delta of the, the, the scalps, right? And so that's, that's, that's what happened. So today, they, they turned off the machine. They basically said, fuck this shit. Robin Hood came out and said, I'm not gonna fucking accept orders in AMC, GME, and all that shit. And they just fucking tanked. So, so the, the fucking bully that got beat took the ball back home. He cried and took the ball back home and cried to his mama, right? And, and you're like, how the fuck are they able to act so quickly? That's because they own the fucking firm almost, man. If you're the biggest client of the fucking firm, you do what the fuck you, what it takes. That's why this is a lawsuit right now. And then you're gonna, you're gonna see this, guys. You're gonna see a revolution like no other. I'm glad this kind of happened because I'm so sick of high frequency, high frequency trading. Because you, you see the spoofing that's going on. You see 100,000 shares and you can't hit one share. You hit one share and it moves down and moves down. And that's because they, they see the order flow ahead of you and they start to move. And... And when this is how they're fucking killing people, man. I mean, you would never know it because if you're a swing trader, a penny doesn't make, really make make a difference. But but you think about how many transactions that goes on, right? And as a J trader, man, it's fucking horrible. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing these huge bids and stuff, and it's all it's called spoofing. You know, you know, it's like exactly fake. You you can't do it, but they can do it legally. Things like that. So so first of all, you know, so if you lost money, guys, you have to. First step is always to blame yourself. I've been telling people, why the fuck are you trading Robin Hood? You're trying to save a dollar and losing hundred bucks. Robin Hood goes down all the time. There's only certain hours that Robin Hood starts trading like 9 a.m. or something. There's a reason why. They batch all your orders and sell it, man. I mean, dude, the markets are open at 4 a.m. 4 fucking a.m. And you can't get into the market at nine, until 9 you got to think about it. So you're locked out, man. Some shit fucking happens. You cannot sell. Some fucking giant earthquake happens and then fucking the economy crashes and then you're fucking sitting there and Robin Hood goes down. <laughs> How many times does Robin Hood go down? They go, I'll give you free commissions, guys. I, Robin Hood goes, I fucked up. I'll give you free commissions. But, but you already got free commissions. <laughs> so this is a learning lesson for a lot of you guys. You know, you get what you pay for. And a lot of times, man, so so these kids are trading, but, but that's good and bad. Robin Hood made it so simple for anybody to, to start trading. They treat it as gambling. The reason why they want this to happen is because the, the high frequency guys are taking advantage of the gamblers, or the uneducated gamblers. They, they're basically taking the other side of the trade. You know, if you're a consistent loser, fuck dude, I don't even need to send your orders to the market. I'll take all your order flow. And because you were consistently lose all the time, I would never have to worry. 
You know, this is this is like the best way to, to trade, right, guys? <laughs> their, their firms are legally doing that too. They're not sending your order to the market. They are uh, they are fucking taking the other side of the trade <laughs> because they know that you will lose. It's fucked up shit, right? And so, so right now, Robinhood has a hundred. I put so you can check all this Twitter, guys. Robinhood now has a hundred thousand one star review. Robinhood is about to go IPO this year. Um, let them know what you think. The best way to do is pull them out. You know, if you, if you need advice on where to go for for uh, for brokerage accounts, let me know. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Um, but the, the thing is, this is a huge education wake up call, guys. I tell, I keep telling everybody. I'm like, these guys are rich on paper. See, uh, GME gave that was five hundred dollars. These guys were millionaires. You know, a guy with a thousand dollars buying an option is now a millionaire. But you're not a millionaire until you take the money out and put it in your pocket. These guys, what they're doing is they don't understand that that these things can go from five hundred dollars to one hundred dollars like that, and they did that today. And what they do is this: um, they would add more, and so they would turn a million dollar win into a complete loss because they would add, add, add all the way down. And these are all worthless companies, guys. These are all worthless companies. The problem is this, it went up too much too fast and they do not have the, the suits, the guys that are betting against you, they don't have enough capital to, to survive this until it dies out. That's the only reason that you hear people complain. They, they, they were not complaining when it was at 40 bucks, $70. They were, they're happy as fuck you guys were buying this at $70. They're so happy. I swear, this because as a short seller, I this is, this is my greed too, I'm like, Please go up, please go up. Because I want to short more and more. But the problem is this, you have to have enough capital to survive. Because this, this is how the shorting game works. It goes crazy. But you know it's a piece of shit. So eventually it will go down to nothing again. But can you survive? The markets will remain irrational longer than you can stay solvent. Remember that quote guys. The markets will, the markets will remain irrational longer than you can stay solvent. Okay, meaning, fuck, man, you were right, but doesn't mean you're gonna make money. Of how many people have been proven right and went bankrupt all the time? So the only thing you need to know is, I mean, if you lost money, guys, if you're up a massive amount and you lost money, you know, consider yourself kind of like fucked up. But it's a learn. I could, I call it like this, guys. Either you win or you learn. You win or you learn, and and hopefully you'll learn a lot from this, because if you did this once, guys, if you make money once, you can make it again, and you'll be smarter the next time to keep it, okay? Um, so what they're doing now is I think they're investigating these people, and it's just fucked up situation, guys. Um, but this is, but the good thing, the good thing about this is it's drawing a lot of interest in stocks. Stocks is one of the biggest wealth makers of all time. If you trade stocks correctly, I mean, how do you think these guys become billionaires? All the billionaires in the world, you know, but you, either they're from the real estate, which is, you know, real estate or stocks. You know, they have the IPO, a company, whatever. And so why do you think they're not letting you, why they're not letting you fucking enter this game? Because they don't want to share their fucking money with you. You guys are the ones that are, me and you are the ones that are giving them money. So I'll give you an example. I used to be a dot-com developer back in the day. I didn't know anything about stocks. No one taught me stocks. I would have been fucking filthy rich. I swear to God, man. I was in these companies that I paid like $300 a share. I had no idea what a fucking stock was back then. This was, this was like 25 years ago, right? And I was a little kid out of college. And, you know, and it's like, I'm like, dude, stock options, what the fuck is that? You know? And so they won't, no one's going to teach you how this. They want you to gamble. Uh, no, one, no one was complaining when, G, when GameStop went to fucking $70, $90, $100. No one was just complaining when Citron was shorting this shit. <laughs> Why are they complaining now? They only complain when they went fucking broke. But if they made money, no one complains. They want you. They were wishing you to buy GameStop at $200. I swear, man. They want you to buy this shit at $100. Bucks because they're shorting the shit out of this 100 It's very, very rare that stock goes like this. I This is the first time. I, I, I think I've seen two other times. But it, this was the most volume. There's Tilray. You know, there's all these. But this one was the biggest 
volume mover that killed people. Um, they, dude, they, no one can play Bob fucking when Tilray Teal or Y went crazy. Why now? Because they banked on Tilray. Tilray went up, touched three hundred bucks, and text and never came back. They had the capital to fucking absorb it, and then Tilray. Let me see what fucking Tilray sitting out here. Let me uh, let me look at this. This is fucking crazy, man. The first step is to educate yourself and understand the game, guys. This is the fucking game. There's nothing to cry about. Once you understand the game, I love it. I love taking advantage of this fucking, like, ridiculousness. Tilray, look at this. It's 18 bucks now, dude. This was back in September. How many years ago? This is 2018. Three years ago. 2018. You see that? $300. 300 fucking bucks. Blew everybody out. But it was so quick, no one could fucking complain. And what happened? Oh, they loved it, dude. And Elfin, all those, they love it. They made they made so much fucking money shorting. Why didn't anybody yell out anything? That's because they wanted you to short at 300 bucks so they could fucking, they wanted you to go along at 300 bucks so they could fucking short it. Now they wanted you to go on GameStop. But the problem is they fucked up. <laughs> they, they, everybody's at home. People are out of a job. I'm going to tell you something, man. There's a little rant right now. It's fucked up shit, man. You know, I've been telling people this all. Why is the economy busted? No one's been working for a year because of COVID. Why is the stock market at all-time high, guys? Why is the stock market at all fucking time highs? Why are the fat billionaires becoming so fucking rich while the rest of Main Street is broke? Main Street is now broke street, guys. They fucking locked everybody away. Uh, no one can do anything except day trade. And so then now these kids got super good. They said, oh, hey, oh, fuck, we fucked up. Let's stop them from fucking day trade. What the fuck do you, they expect us to do? You know, we can't go to work. Um, fuck, man, the stock market. All their fucking friends are in politics and they're printing money to fucking pump this shit up. And you're not making money out of this. I'm not, you know, I'm making money because I, I trade for a living, but... Um, this is why we're. This is why I'm around to fucking tell you this. No one's fucking telling you this shit. You know, they probably. They, I probably got a target on my back right now for fucking educating everybody, right? But the point is, you can't fight the system, guys. These guys are too powerful. They have friends in high places. The only thing you can do is understand. And once you understand, that's when you make money. I know the end game. The end game is, you know what, man? You 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 basically don't want to. Be, I, I I said this the other day. Uh, on the, the webinar, I'm going to repeat that. This, uh, this is going to be fucking very valuable for you. It's called the greater fool theory. The greater fool theory. The greater fool theory says there's another guy who's more dumb than you that buying this shit higher. And then there's another greater fool than you, greater fool than him, and, and vice versa. So at $500 a fucking share on GME, there's some fucking greatest fool out there. Uh, so some guy buys it at 100 bucks. I think he's a fool. But then there's a greater fool that buys it at 200 bucks, And there's a greater fool and a greater fool... And so your job is to not be the greatest fool of them all and hold the bag. We are all fools. I mean, if you chase a stock, I, who's to say you're a fool or not? You know, buying at seventy dollars, I thought was really crazy. Like buying seventy bucks, like cost K O S S. Like what the fuck? You buying this shit at seventy bucks? Then what? The hundred seventy bucks? You know, uh, GME, same thing. So who, to, to be honest, guys, I'm gonna tell you the secret, man. The secret is, you know. The, the, the greatest fool is the guy that never fucking takes a chance. But when you take a chance, you need to set risk management, guys. And so we teach, this is what I teach all the time. I keep telling you, man, that the greatest equalizer in life is risk management. Never let one trade take you out of the game. This fucking Melvin guy, man. Unbelievable, right? I'm fucking like, like there was a $12 billion firm. And it's like about to be insolvent because of this one stock play. I mean, it's just stupid. You know, you, that's why you, you only need to get rich once, guys. And when you get rich once, and when you make it, put the fucking shit away, okay? You'd be very surprised. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking blow your mind right now at how much m little money you make on the average a day for you to make a lot of life-changing money, guys. Here it is. Let me... Uh... That's it, guys. $200 a day. 
$200 a day is life-changing money, man. 200 bucks a day on the average, you will make 50,000 a year. And so when you think about how to just make a million bucks, that's only 4,000 a day on the average. Okay, you don't need to swing up and down tens of thousands of dollars. So you just need to be consistent, guys. Just be fucking consistent. And I'm gonna tell you something. The blueprint to make $1,000 a day goes through making $100 a day, goes through making 200 bucks a day, 300 bucks a day. If you can make $1,000 a day, grow your bankroll, you can make 5,000 a day. You can make 5,000 a day, that's how you fucking scale. You need to get ready though. You need to level up. This is just like a role playing game on the computer, okay? No one jumps into the final boss with fucking naked skin, no fucking armor, just fucking chest hair and fucking fighting with your fucking fist. <clears throat> you know, you have to go to level one, you know, fucking learn how to fucking fight pugilism level two. And then you learn how to use a sword. And then, you know, yeah, you get some fucking badass diamond weapons or whatever the fuck you use, right? And then you're fighting. And then, you know, the, the, the ultimate is the fucking final boss, right? The final boss. You could never beat in in this in this lifetime. The final boss you can never beat because the final boss writes the game, the code. This is an institution. You see what happened? You, they they got to the point where they they fought the final boss and they got GameStop to five hundred dollars a share. And you know what they did? The final boss said, "Fuck this shit. The game is over. I'm pulling out the fucking cable. You guys are all fucking dead. Get the fuck out of my fucking game." And that's what they fucking did. And so the guys that said, fuck this shit, I'm going to go kill the final boss. Fuck that shit. Let, let, let the heroes die. Heroes always die in Asian movies, in American movies. For some reason, they always fucking live. And maybe that's why Americans are so crazy, right? <laughs> Asian people are like, fuck, man, I don't want to fucking be the hero. The hero is the one that always die. And this buddy gets the girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I want to be the buddy, the hero's buddy, right? And so he's like, dude, there's some point where you realize like, I am the greatest fool of them all. There's no other greater fool. I'm up fucking $20 million or I'm up $2,000 or whatever the hell you're up. And you didn't take any money out. You are the greatest fool. This is, I'm telling you, if you did this, you, you witness a fucking something that is life changing. Uh, life changing because you realize that, holy fuck, there is something out there. Better than a nine to five job. <laughs> you had, you just had an opportunity to make a lifetime of money in a week. You may not make it, but that's not the point. The point is you saw something, you've been exposed to something. And this is what Wall Street is so scared of. Wall Street is so fucking afraid of you realizing how much money that they are making and how simple it can be. People think you need a Harvard degree, a Yale degree, bullshit. You don't, I'm a fucking immigrant that came from a fucking third world country, I didn't speak any English, parents had no money. And look where I am now. I found the fucking secret and I just worked my ass off. Uh, this is not gonna be an overnight get rich quick scheme. Overnight get rich quick, uh, that's what they want. They want you to think it's overnight get rich quick gambling. It's not gambling you learn, guys. You know, there's a reason why these motherfuckers are making money every fucking day, okay? They are just pissed because they don't want you to enter the game. The last time that someone entered the game, they created a rule called the pattern day trader rule, PDT, $25,000. You think about that, if you think about this, why am I not allowed to fucking trade my own money? They don't want you to. They want you to hold that fucking stock so that they can scalp around you. Why the fuck can I go? So you imagine if, if they did a PDT at the casino, you can only play three hands of blackjack a week. <laughs> you can only play three hands of blackjack a week. You, uh, you, you think they'll let that? But why? They, they, they're saying, oh, because people are dumb. They, they're protecting us from... From ourselves, you know? Why are they letting me lose all my money at the casino? Because they own the fucking casino. The casino is, is a publicly traded company too, by the way. <laughs> you see how all this shit works? They basically do not want you to enter something that they, they are the house. So now you gotta understand why I, I keep preaching education, guys. Education on the markets. It's not about making quick money. It's not about being the lifestyle guy. It's about realizing, holy fuck, there is something out here. I, I, I've i never been exposed to this. It took me a long time for, for me to realize, holy fuck, trading is not gambling. If you do it right, it's not fucking gambling. I always thought when I was young, it was gambling. And, and, and that's what they want you to think. The moment we broke the fucking code and we started 
and and then these Reddit guys started to understand the fucking system, which we we teach this at MIC every fucking day, guys. Am I right, guys? The guys that are watching right now at MIC, we talk about float, we talk about short squeezes, we talk about all this shit, right? We talk about this shit every fucking day, you know. Um, and and that's the thing. The moment the masses get educated, the institution goes, "Holy fuck, we're dead, guys." There's an army of these guys. And they know what they're doing. <laughs> you know, easy money is gone. And so that's exactly what happened, man. So you think about the grand scheme of things. They cracked the code. They really didn't crack the code. They found one loophole. And I'll tell you what happened, man. So this Melvin guy, um, I think they, they, they did all the options and stuff. So they, they reported it. But I think if, if they had just owned the shares outright, like shorted the shares outright, whatever the hell it may be. They didn't have to report this. So so these are public filings because you know they, they were too greedy. They wanted to leverage up and do uh, do options and all this stuff. And so they got caught. They got caught. You know, they exposed themselves and they got fucking caught. And and, and the thing is I bloom so these these guys, I'm telling you right now, so we don't we don't even have access to all the same information they do. Bloomberg Terminal has all the fucking information in the world. Why do you think that Bloomberg guy, Michael Bloomberg, the fucking mayor, is a billionaire? He's worth like $30 billion or some shit. Each terminal, they call it a terminal, each user costs 27000 a year. Even I can't afford it. I mean, I'm, I'm like, fuck this shit. I, I don't want to fucking pay $27,000 a year for this because I don't trade that style. But you think about one user costs 27000 So in order to, for a company to pay $27,000 for one user, one user... Think about how much money they're making. Think about how much they're fucking making, guys. They're making a boatload of fucking money. Okay? So they have all that access, information, all that. So what do we have now? So I'm going to tell you right now, we have a huge advantage coming up. Because right now with the internet, with the message boards, with the amount of information that's readily available, uh, we are catching up. We see a lot of the same information that these, these old school suit motherfuckers are seeing. And that's what happened. They're like, holy fuck, how did, how did the Robin Hood guys catch on? They caught up. You know, this is why I tell all my guys all the time, like the competition is catching up, guys. You know, you always have to fucking keep learning because there's always going to be next batch of hungry kids out there, just like the Reddit guys. And so the Reddit guys caught up really quick. They read and they figured out the short float and they, they figured out the squeezes. And then, and then the institutions, the suits cheated by doing 150%. <laughs> they, they, they started to short more than the, the available shares. So they cheated. They cheated up to 50%. They couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> you know, they maxed out. You know, they should have maxed out and fucking covered, but they didn't. They cheated. They created artificial shares so they could short more. They got greedy, greedy, and they just fucking blew up. And when they blew up, they ran to the big brother and sister. My vagina hurts. I'm sorry. Then, then they made a fucking law, right? So now they're kicking everybody out. But we, how do we do this, guys? So you can take the revolution back by understanding this, learn, realizing that Robin Hood, I'm not bashing Robin because I don't want them to say anything about me either, but I'm just saying like, you know, there's nothing free in life, guys. You know, you have to understand why the fuck Robin Hood is doing this. And so sometimes, you know, if you want to take things seriously, you got to pay. You got to fucking pay. You know, there's a lot of reasons the guy's giving out free tips too. Why you got to think, why am I getting a free tip from you? Because you are pumping their stock up. Things like that, guys. So... So I have time to bring someone on. If you have anybody, any questions, guys, I kind of rambled on, but I hope that under, that you understand. Like, look at this stock right here, GBR. GBR, look at this shit, dude. Oh my God, the low was $2. It's at twelve sixty nine. Quick education, GBR, look at this shit. GBR, the float, remember I keep telling you, the float, 2 million, meaning there's only 2 million shares out there. The volume today is 53 million. <laughs> That's how they're doing it, guys. And you know what? No one's complaining about that GBR. It's because the institutions, the algos are the ones running it up. Because no one can short this, guys. There's no shorts to, to borrow, very, very limited amount of shorts to locate. They are running GBR up, because I guarantee you, uh, I bet you there's a fucking offering coming. <laughs> Usually that's how it works, guys. They manipulate this because the other thing is like, why are these things up? Why would they just run this, these things up randomly, right? A lot of the times it's because they need financing. Uh, this company might be a piece of shit, whatever. Let's take a look at this real quick. I don't fucking do this shit for you guys. 
So I'm gonna look up the GBR financials. The market cap financial burn rate. Uh, they have working capital three million only. Uh, they've lost two million last year. So basically, I don't. I mean, you can't really. I can't really tell on this because it's it's very. You know, have to look. But the the bottom line is this, man. The bottom line is a lot of these companies have ran up because they need financing, and so they run this up for a reason. And this is all manipulation, guys. You can call it whatever the fuck you want. They call it investment banking. Investment banking. Okay, you can call it whatever the fuck you want to call it, but it's still manipulation, right? The market is rigged, and this is why we can make money. If things were random. If things were random, we would not be able to make money. I love a rig market, guys. I love a rig market because a rig market means that we can beat the system. We just need to understand their game. I want to understand how it is rigged and I want to participate legally. Legally. And so that's exactly what the Reddit guys did. They legally participated and they broke the fucking code. And now the institutions, the suits are like, fuck this shit. We're, <laughs> they killed us, right? So, so guys, you know, milk this as long as you can. Get educated and let's do this. Okay, let's fucking do this, man. Learn and you can do this, guys. And you can, let's kick some fucking ass. But I hope you understand. And that's what... That's what's happening this week, guys. And then we'll, today is Thursday. So I'll see you guys next week and I'll see you in the chat room, guys. Any one last question before I leave? Otherwise, I want to log off and let you guys go back to whatever you're doing. All right, guys. Thanks.